Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. It says, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Praise the Lord. Now, what is team building? Now, one thing that comes to mind when we talk about team building or a team is a soccer game. We know how it works very well. But I've defined team building here as action of causing a group of people to work together as a team in order to achieve a common goal. Now, what is marriage? I've defined marriage here as a platform on which a man and a woman who are independent decide to do life together. Praise God. A man leave the father. Of course, the woman also have to leave the mother, though the Bible did not put it that way. And then two of them decide to do life together. It's not like on the own, on the man, on the, and individually, the man cannot do life alone and be successful, or the woman cannot do life alone and be successful. But an understanding of what the power of two is makes the two of them two, who are already independent, can make decisions on their own, say, no, I decide to team up with someone to, to, get, to, to, to get a better result out of life. Praise the Lord. So now, what is team building in marriage? Team building, therefore, in marriage is an action taken by a man and his wife to effectively build a team in order to achieve God's purpose for their marriage. Praise the Lord. Now, if we talk about team or team building in marriage, it involves the person of God. Not just the man and the woman right now, but God is also involved. God is involved in the sense that God is the one that sets the principles, the rules on which the marriage must follow. Is God who has set those principles. So the man and the woman are living out those rules that God has set in their marriages, in their marriage. And if these rules are not properly followed, the team cannot work properly. Praise the Lord. Now, marriage is not a man and a woman having a competition. Praise God. It is not a, a, a platform whereby the man wants to assign the wife or the woman wants to assign the husband. It doesn't work that way. If that happens, therefore, it means that the team cannot work and the purpose, which is the common goal, cannot be achieved. Praise the Lord.